Hi, my name is Joy O'Gorman. I'm a final year nursing student studying adult nursing with the University of Plymouth. I just wanted to share a small reflection I did whilst in practice that led to some training within the trust for um, nursing teams countywide. I was uh, on placement with an agency nurse who wasn't usually working in that specific area. She'd been nursing a long time, very passionate about her job. I was giving an intramuscular injection and afterwards she took me to one side and very passionately, almost aggressively, told me I was unsafe in my practice and that the way I did the intramuscular injection was a huge no-no and uh, proceeded to give me quite an in-depth um, lecture on the incident which left me quite deflated and demoralised. Um, I'd never been accused of being unsafe in my practice before so this was a, a big big deal. No student nurse wants to be unsafe in their work um, but I thanked her for pointing out and taking the time to um, have the discussion with me and said I would go away and do a reflection on it because I was a little bit confused in the way I'd been taught by university and what she was now telling me and it was important for me to feel confident and safe. So I went away and researched intramuscular injection techniques, looked on Elsevier clinical skills which is the material that university uses to teach us and I looked up some meta-analysis studies as well and it turns out that the way in which the nurse had wanted me to do it was in fact out of practice and ritualistic in nature and not up-to-date or evidence-based. So I did a reflection on this and put the um, research resources in there and even the diagrams which had a big red X and a big tick for the new way and it did unfold some really interesting debate among the teams. It is quite a controversial um, subject um, but by doing the reflection and um, discussing with my assessor and uh, lead in the trust learning development team it was able to be used to plan now countywide training in ensuring that nurses are up to date with the latest evidence base in this particular nursing intervention. So what could have been a huge knock to my confidence and left me deflated by going away and doing the reflection and applying evidence-based practice and a rationale from my discussion rather than arguing with the nurse and saying she was wrong and I was right is going away and researching it empowered me to resolve the situation in a productive and constructive way for myself and for the team and for evidence-based practice overall. Having watched Joy's reflection, it's clear that she's had to manage conflict. Learning to deal with conflict productively is an essential skill for a strong leader to learn. Conflict is part of life and more often than not occurs in response to a situation or a misunderstanding. In this case, what best practice was in relation to doing an intramuscular injection? Pause the recording now and have a think about a time where you've been involved in conflict. Was it resolved positively or is there something that you could have done differently? What did you learn from that situation? Let's look at Joy's example. She was able to find a positive solution and she also upheld several of the standards within the NMC code. She acted with integrity and she was professional. She separated her emotions and she didn't antagonise the other person. She also preserved the safety of patients by raising concerns about out-of-date practice and used evidence and research to educate others. But most importantly, Joy's leadership skills ha has shown that she's been a role model to others, especially students. She has shown that students can make a difference and can actually impact change. This scenario could have had a detrimental impact to Joy's self-belief and confidence as a student nurse. However, through her strong leadership skills and being emotionally intelligent, she has actually had a positive impact, not just to herself or the people that she worked with and the trust, but also to her peers. Mm -hmm.